It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. This year is no shortest of announcements when it comes down to the King of the Monsters. And so for this video, I'm just going to talk about the news that I found the most interesting. And so without further hesitation, let us begin. The first bit of news is a Japanese 2-disc Blu-ray set containing Garan, Gorath, Dargara, and Space Amoeba. And it's going to be released on June the 15th of this year by Toho Video. For those who have no idea about all four movies, here's a brief summary of all of them. Dagara is about a giant jellyfish that decides to attack Japan. While all that is happening, a bunch of people who happen to be robbers are of course robbing banks at the same time. And so it's like a clash of James Bond and giant jellyfish monster. Meanwhile, Gorath is the typical end of the world movie where a giant meteor just slowly but surely goes towards Earth to just destroy everything. Ferran the Unbelievable is about a giant flying squirrel that attacks Japan, and Space Amoeba, yet again, is about like a bunch of monsters, particularly like a giant octopus that goes to the island and attacks the islanders. One can say that prior to the Marvel Universe, there was like a cinematic universe for Toho Studios and their monsters because every single time they have a monster movies, they have the exact same actors within the cast, they have the monster crossovers at times, and so more or less prior to this whole entire Marvel phase of the giant, you know, superheroes and stuff, they were like the giant monster universe for Toho Studios. And honestly, it's really, really hard to find these movies on home video. And so hopefully this release will have subtitles for those who don't understand Japanese. This bit of news comes directly from Australia, which I honestly did not expect it in the slightest. The sequel to the Hollywood blockbuster Godzilla vs Kong is set to be filmed in Queensland. The project, which is the next instalment in the MonsterVerse franchise, will be shot in a range of locations across the state's southeast. It's expected to deliver an economic boost of more than $79 million and create more than a thousand jobs. The premiere has labelled it a coup for the film industry. In terms of the box office numbers globally, it seems as though that the MonsterVerse movies are just doing well. Godzilla 2014 had a budget of $160 million and grossed at the box office $529 million. Kong Skull Island also has similar results. Its budget was like $185 million and it grossed over $566.7 million. Godzilla King of the Monsters was the weakest of the bunch. Its budget was 170 to 200 million dollars. However, at the box office, it grossed 386.6 million dollars. And finally, Godzilla vs Kong, the movie that saved the blockbuster, had a budget about 155 million to 200 million dollars, and it grossed over 468 million dollars. Now my personal speculation about all of this is that we're probably not going to get a Godzilla sequel in the slightest because the MonsterVerse, although it has Godzilla in it, is not all about Godzilla. It's entirely possible that a number of movies might be filming from like different monsters from Toho Studios or the other studios that with the giant monsters. More recently I heard some speculation that they want to have a sequel to King Kong called The Son of King Kong and so it's entirely possible that they're making a movie for King Kong again and then probably after that might be Godzilla and vice versa but yet again I have no idea what kind of movie they're filming right now and the only way to know about it is through the latest announcements for the movie that's going to come out really shortly I'm hoping. The second to last news is the announcement of a new Godzilla TV show Apple TV Plus today announced a series order for a new live action series from Legendary MonsterVerse franchise. Following the stunnerous battle between Godzilla and the Titans that level San Francisco and the new shocking reality that monsters are real, the series explored one family's journey to uncover its buried secrets and a legendary linking them to the secret organization known as Monarch. To my knowledge, this is the second time that Godzilla 
has appeared in its own live action TV show. Now the first time that Godzilla appeared in a TV show was the TV program that was called Zone Fighter that was filmed back in 1973 which featured a bunch of Toa monsters and also Godzilla. And so I believe this is the first time however that the TV show is focusing heavily on Godzilla and not the other monsters. Now the biggest downside so far I've seen so far is the fact that is actually for Apple Plus TV. Now, as I record this video, there's like so many ways that people have to pay services to see Godzilla content. For example, on HBO Max, what they have are the movies for the first 15 films, and then of course for the other services like Netflix, they have the animated series, and now it's like the third kind of service that someone has to pay for to see all the content for Godzilla legally. And so, it makes no sense at all for people to have like another service just to see this TV show because I think more people just use Netflix nowadays and so why not put the TV show on Netflix and stay out of paying like a whole entire different services. It's like, three different services for Godzilla? Really? Really? But anyway, moving on. The final bit of news is probably like the biggest of the bunch is that Toho Studios is developing a new kaiju movie. Now, the company has issued a call for extras on its official Godzilla app for a new kaiju film from director Takashi Yamakami. The upcoming project will be set during 1945 and 1947 era Japan and filming reportedly next month. If this happens to be a Godzilla movie, I say the time period it's just perfect because in 1945 the United States actually put like the nuclear bombs on Hiroshima and Yamasaki and of course Godzilla himself is very much symbolic of the nuclear weapons during that time period and so it would make like a lot of sense to have a Godzilla movie that takes place after the events of the nuclear bombs. And so, if this happens to be a Godzilla movie, that would be really, really, really cool. But anyway, what do you guys think about this news? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.